Now back in the old days, we used to use these filters and these are called trickle filters because the idea was the water trickles down through the media and we used to use bio balls and they used to very powerfully nitrify which um, means that your ammonia breaks into nitrite, nitrite breaks into nitrate. Nowadays we use these media which is predominantly going to be submerged which is called marine pure. Now the marine pure offers parallel denitrification so you don't get as much nitrate. So we really don't use the old bio balls anymore. And so we don't really need these things anymore. Now these things um, do get old. So if you look at this one, this one's rocking like an old rock star. So um, the way it's rocking around means that sometimes it whacks the side, um, sometimes it goes slow, sometimes it goes fast. So this is sort of like Angus Young. Just keeps rocking on forever. Rocking on like an old rock star. So we've got a couple of options to um, replace Angus. We can either um, get a new one of these because that'll have new bearings and it'll be new and nice and tight. So it'll actually spin around properly and it won't rock around like, like this. Um, or we just do away with it. And the easiest way to do away with this would be if we just um, take this off, put a couple of elbows down, and then what we could do is put a drip tray here. A drip tray is just basically a piece of plastic with a whole bunch of holes in it. So then when the water falls down, it's gonna land on the drip tray. The drip tray is gonna spread the water out across this filter media. Um, then it's gonna go down past your marine pure and then go back into the sump where it gets returned to the aquarium. The other thing you could do is not even worry about the drip tray and then just have um, the elbows going down and we could even move some of this media because there's a lot of room in here. We could put more marine pure in here if we needed to. So just um, um, getting rid of this is definitely one option because we don't really use this wet and dry technology anymore. We actually want wet technology because this tank now runs at basically zero nitrates even though there's lots of fish in it. Whereas in the old days, this would have had very elevated nitrate levels because the um, bio balls would have caused heaps of nitrate. So so a good old drip tray across here is really simple. The drip, drip tray is very easy to remove. We've just got to make sure that the drip tray is a size. So then we just tilt this up and slide the drip tray out. So if I just take some measurements now, whack a drip tray on this, and then we get rid of this stupid thing. Otherwise, um, we can replace it. But these aren't that cheap these days because we don't really use them anymore. Anyway, give us your opinion.